What's up, guys? My name's Old Head Mike, and I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about Amazon. Uh, don't worry about subscribing if you're only here for my Amazon video. This is the only one I'm going to do. It's just a one-off. I am a Metalcore channel, so only hit subscribe if you're into Metalcore um, or or I have a horror channel um, also down below. Just to help the algorithm, don't worry about subscribing. Just watch the video. Um, I'm just here to talk about Amazon because they're creating a little bit of buzz right now. Um, and I've worked for them for the past two and a half years. Loved it at first. Quickly started to go downhill and just continued to go downhill until I uh, couldn't take it anymore. So uh, for starters, um, a lot of people are probably here um, to find out, do their workers pee in bottles? Um, now, I did not work in the warehouse. So I've heard stories uh, about people in the warehouse having to do it because they don't have uh, room um, or time. Um, which I will say that, um, I could picture it happening because they are on, on a very big time crunch at the building I was at. There was only one bathroom and it was all the way on the other side of the warehouse. Um, and that's a huge pain in the ass when you're in a time crunch to go all the way across. And, um, I was a delivery driver. So did I pee in bottles? Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of people did. Uh, most people did. Even the girls. Um, now, I will say that that's kind of kind of normal sometimes for some delivery companies as kind of just laziness and to save time. But um, honestly, it's kind of a necessity with Amazon. You are under extreme time crunch. And uh, if you don't find shortcuts, you will, will have a very bad day. Um, and so that's one of those shortcuts. Um, have I ever pooped in a delivery van? <laughs> well, <laughs> I won't answer that. <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, yes, Amazon is a horrible company. I hated working for them. They made me feel like killing myself on a daily basis. Um, I can't tell you how many times I cried in the back of a delivery van, uh, just being flat out overwhelmed with uh the work that i had in front of me um i didn't take a lunch break for about two years there were some times when you really could but you gotten so used to just not having them um now yeah they tell you that you have to take your lunch break i'll say that but um if you do if you take a lunch break, you're uh, 30 minutes clocked out without pay um, in two 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, you're just going to end up extending your day for an entire hour. And who wants that, you know? Um, yeah, if you're hourly, maybe, but still, who wants to wake up at 7 o'clock, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning, start at work at 7, and then not get off till 8 o'clock at night? and then drive home and do that again the next day. You know, it's just a, it's a horrible thing. Um, there's a lot of things they did wrong. Um, honestly, I thought very hard about making this video uh, when I left Amazon. I left Amazon about three, four weeks ago, um, and I wanted to do it. I was tired of the company. I just wanted to put them on blast, uh, go through the ins and outs, and I was like, no, you know what? Uh, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want them to like come after me or some shit. Um, and uh, now I have a new job. I work at a comic book shop for literally half of the pay. Um, and I couldn't be happier. I don't feel like killing myself every day, Amazon. Um, so I was like, whatever, I'll just move on. But then, you know, I keep seeing articles and articles about Amazon and Amazon. Of course, none of this was there when I was working for them. Um, so, uh, but now that there's a little bit of light, I wanted to just talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. Um, I've pretty much said all I want to say. Uh, I could go on and on about how exactly they're shitty, um, that they um, basically doubled everyone's routes uh, the pack by packages uh, amount um, and found ways for you to take more packages um, in less time. Um, under the guise of saving you time and helping you out, but it's really just you need to get your shit together. And 
find ways to make shortcuts to get these packages or else you're fired. Very abusive. Disliked about just about everything they did. Um, they've what tripled their income in the past year and uh, everyone minimum wage there is about $15 an hour, which is, you know, cool for most people. Um, compared to every other delivery company. No, um, I think FedEx starts out about 18, 19, uh, UPS is over 20 and have basically the same amount of work, maybe a little bit less, sometimes maybe more, but it's more worth it. So, um, richest company in the world folks. Uh, and, uh, lastly, uh, if you look up the article, uh, there was a suicide in an Amazon building a couple of weeks ago, sadly. Um, and a worker jumped off the roof of the building, I believe, uh, committed suicide about 6 30 AM. And Amazon had their employees continue working, uh, with a dead body on site for another three hours. Uh, if that tells you anything about Amazon's work ethics and what they care about, which is um, money, making money and finding ways to make money faster. That is Amazon. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to basically throw that out there. Give a big fuck you to Amazon. Um, you're a horrible company. You're abusive. And um, when you tweet things like, uh, no, uh, you think people pee in bottles because uh, who would why would somebody work with us then? Um, you know, that's the exact same as a, an abusive girlfriend or boyfriend who says, oh, you know, you think I you think I hurt them? Why would they why would they be with me? Yeah, that's uh, that's not how that works. So. Yeah, uh, just shedding some light. Like I said, yes, we peed in bottles. Did we poop in bottles or bags? Maybe. Um, does Amazon give their employees enough time to care about your package and your merchandise? Nope. Really, that's about it. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to share your experiences down below. Um, or if you've worked with somebody that's similar to, uh, that abusive envir environment, um, go ahead and don't worry about subscribing unless you, uh, want to watch some videos about metalcore, then I'm all about it. Um, but anyways, thanks for dropping by. Um, I don't plan on making any more videos about this, but you can feel free to ask me any questions if you want. Other than that, old head Mike signing off for my new, never too old for this.